Tell a friend to tell a friend. That's your boy Zen. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 current gen build video. And today I have a ball hawk build for you guys, man. Everybody love the ball hawk. The ball hawk has been good for a long time. And I decided to create the build a little bit shorter. Now, I do create tall builds, short builds. It does not matter. But I created this build for my people out there that like the six foot three style builds. You know what I'm saying? Like this ball hawk is built a little bit different, man. You get a 99 steal on this build, okay? You will be able to get Hall of Fame glove and Hall of Fame interceptor. That's really, really good, man. You get the highest three-point shot for a ball hawk. Okay, that's an 84. You will be able to get some contact dunks with this build. No need to worry about that. And, of course, you already know you will be able to make plays. But make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you this masterpiece. We are going to point guard position to the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know. It's like button time. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. We are almost at 900 subscribers. So with this build, like I told you, 6'3", 198 on the waist, 7 foot wingspan, built by the shape. Let's get into the build. We're going to go ahead and start with the finishing and take the close shot up to a 76 because we do want that silver fast twitch. I think that's very important on any build, man, to have that fast twitch up so you can get, um, you know, faster moves under the rim. And that's what you really want. For the drive layup, we're going to get that up to an 80, which is not bad. An 80 driving layup is good for um, the people that, you know, like to make layups. But if you want to go acrobat, go ahead and take your driving layup to an 84. Okay, so some people, some people want that, you know, but some people don't. So I'm just going to leave it at an 80 and, you know, you can determine if you want it or not. For the driving dunk, we can only get it up to an 84. We don't want to change the name of the bill. That's up to you guys if you want to try to take it up, but you're going to change the name of the bill. But an 84 is not bad for this bill, all right? So we get 18 finishing badges. I would use fast twitch, post around, that would be four. Limitless takeoff, that's seven. Slithery, that's 10. 13 with fillers, and you still got five badges left. So, hey, do what you want to do with that. But let's go ahead and get it to the green bean. Make your girl scream badge. This is the highest three-point shot that you can get with a ball hawk without changing the name. So I took it up to an 84, and the mid-range shot is a 75. Oh, my goodness. A ball hawk with 20 shooting badges. Come on, man. I know y'all like that. And we got a 74 free throw. So with those 20, you can do what you want to do, but you will have the ball in your hand majority of the time. So I still would use badges like corner specialist, amp, catch and shoot, claymore, green machine, dead eye blinders. If you want to use those badges, I really don't use them. But the first, what, five badges that I called out, well, six bad, one, two, three, four. Well, five bads that I called out are the badges that I will use first. And then, you know, if I have extra badges and stuff left, I will use blinders and dead eye. You know, I throw that in there, but I don't do any fading and stuff like that. So I don't use Asian 3. Um, I don't use Space Creator because I'm not doing pull-ups and all that stuff either. But that's totally up to you guys. If you play that way, then that's fine. Go ahead and do what you do. But let's get into the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody in their mama can see this video. And I need everybody in their mama to see this video. So do that for yeah, boy, boy. Spiel ball, we're going to get that to a 77. That's the highest you can get it without changing the name. I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried, but the 77 is the highest we can get it. Ball handle, same thing. A 87 is the highest we can get. I know some people are going to say, oh, you six foot three and don't have a Hall of Fame quick first step. Well, you can't get Hall of Fame quick first step because it will change the name of the bill. Trust me, I already tried. For the pass accuracy, the highest we can get it without changing the name is an 85, so I took it to an 85. I would love to get it to an 86, but that would change the name of the bill. But an 85 is okay because you still get silver um, needle threader. So with those 21, um, I would use a handle for days, quick first step, dimer, clamp breaker, needle threader, hyperdrive, unpluckable, ankle breaker. Those are the bads I would use. I don't use bailout, killer combo, mismatch expert. I don't use post playmaker. I don't use special delivery. I don't use none of those badges, so I don't talk about them. But let's go ahead and get into the defense. So with this build, you are a ball hawk, okay? So what I did with this ball hawk was gave it a 99 steal, okay? That's very important in my opinion, man, to have a Hall of Fame glove and Hall of Fame interceptor because you will be able to get a lot of steals with this bill, man. You can go out there, you can steal somebody's dream, no problem, man. They're going to be looking around, man, like, dang, where did he go? You know what I'm saying? Like, you got the speed, you got the acceleration for this bill, man. You will be able to have some fun with this bill. Perimeter defense. Now, we did take that up to 83. Um, I think that's the highest, so you may be able to take it to 84. 
but you can't take it to an 86. That's the only bad thing about the ball hawk. I created a ball hawk on next gen last year, and it was the same thing. But you know, I made it work, man. If you got good um, defense anyway, I think you'll be fine with um, with the uh, bronze clamps because you got that steel so high that when you reach, it's gonna it's gonna make make a difference. Okay. For the interior defense, we just took that up to a 58. We want to get the extra bats, and as you can see, we got that. For the block, we're going to max that out at a 68. We do get silver chase down artists, which is good for this build. And the rebound, we're going to take the defensive rebound to a 62 just so we can get an extra badge. I like 25 as the number. So with those 25, I would use clamps, pogo, chase down, um, throw in, interceptor, glove, workhorse. Everything else is just ice on the cake. You got minutes, man. You got 25 badges, man. That's a lot of badges, okay? So once you get done with the main badge, that's 14 right there. 15 with Pogo, 16 with uh, Clamps, 19 with Chase Down Artisan. Hey, man, everything else is icing on the cake. But look at the combination, 18, 20, 21, and 25. Not bad. For the physical, we're going to get the speed to an 80. Acceleration is a 90. Uh, strength is a 35. Uh, vert is a 70. And the rest is on stamina. Now let's get it to the takeover. So we have big lock, playmaking, sharp shooting, shot creating. We're just going to choose something for the video. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, ball hawk. We got Lonzo, Walt Fraser, and Drew Holiday. That's the bill. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here, man. Ciao!